Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. It was a really crazy cyber week. It was something that um, I was not expecting to spend as much money as I spent. It's one of those where you think, okay, well I didn't make this much money on YouTube in the past month, but maybe I will eventually. But having that option is still such a blessing given what most people in this community have at their disposal to spend. And so I am very blessed and very thankful for the rare position that I'm in to be able to to say that I can earn enough revenue playing this game to eventually break even spending over a thousand American dollars, actually uh, over 1200 American dollars when it was all said and done and over like 40,000 units. So when you spend over $1,200, what do you get? And in the end, somehow, I got for that amount of money. And I'm not saying that you should think it was worth it. But I got Shuri. And I do think that Shuri is going to help me eventually with Necropolis if I choose to do more than just one path, which... Some days I think, let's jump back in. And some days I think, I never want it to be touched again. So you just never know. That's how I felt about Labyrinth of Legends and the Abyss. And I have never regretted not going back. But at the same time, this is different content with better rewards. And right now, it is still the best way to guarantee a third rank 3 7 star which would be, by all accounts, on my channel, Domino. Even though some would say you're being an idiot, it should be, for sure, either Titania or Shuri. And I respect that perspective, even if I disagree. So, I got the uh, Valiant Special Bundle. For cash on the Kabam website, which was under 100 bucks, it was 90 bucks, and that included one more rank one to rank two seven star generic rank up gym. And you can see I've got one out of three on the bottom right, and now I've got zero because that is indeed being used on Shuri. Am I the best with her yet? Of course not. No. But I have gotten better, and she is not that difficult to use. I also think she is very underrated on defense. And someone that, in terms of battlegrounds, could be a sneaky play. So, I may try her out at the end of my battlegrounds bench. And see if she performs better. I'm going to ask my subscribers this week, would you prefer her or Jessica Jones on defense? Who's better? Because quite honestly, I have no idea. It's also worth noting that this is the least amount of ISO I have had in like five years. And I have heard from some people who have no ISO. And so that is... Um, its own fascinating debate. There is uh, the materials needed. Obviously, I am nowhere near taking anyone to rank three anytime soon. I did not spend another 5,000 units on, I think it was 8,000 Titan Crystal Shards, and uh, most notably for the rank three argument, another half of a uh, tier three alpha catalyst so uh, while I continue to put ISO into seven stars and I think to myself man it really is crazy how much ISO it takes to rank up all these champions uh, it is worth noting that I still have a lot to learn about this champion as well as some people say that they prefer OG Iron Man over Shuri and I say to that fascinating could you explain why? <laughs> because 
again, oftentimes you all teach me more than I teach you. But we're going to conclude this video now because we are pretty much done taking him to max and we'll do the rest when it's not on a YouTube video. Either way, YouTube, thank you for the support this year. My uh, channel continues to evolve and at times uh, take a step back for the demands of my quote-unquote real life, but it's always nice to know that you are uh, with me and that we've done this journey for six years together. Uh, some of you have been with me the entire time. Some of you have been with me for a week. Either way, thanks for clicking on this video. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for watching.